Hey kids, welcome back to the next episode of the Incredible Kids Podcast. My name is Moritz Siri, and I will be your host through this incredible journey. We are going to meet many incredible kids. They are going to share with us their stories. Some of them super cool and different like you've never heard before, and some you may say are just ordinary, but all of them incredible. If you have great ideas, email me today at ikidspodcast at gmail.com. And now it's time for Incredible Kids! Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of the Sahelim Army. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And just one second as I hand Shlomo to his amazing big sister. Okay, so hi, everybody who's with us on Zoom, and hi, everybody who's with us on tehillimarmy.org. And, um, well, so we filled up very quickly tonight because I think a lot of people are excited for tonight's unique program. Um, of course, we're always excited to say to him. We have a special guest named Andrew, also known as And I Drew. Get it? And he'll explain more about that later. And he's going to tell us about his love of Torah and his love of drawing and art and how that combines. And if you guys know, you know, if you hear Incredible Kids podcast, you know that art is so important um, for all kids, for all people to express themselves with. And I'm so excited to um, give you the opportunity and myself the opportunity to to um, experience one of his awesome art lessons with us. And before we start tonight, and with the Tehillim that we're going to have, Park Pei Gimel in a bit, um, I want to tell you something very special that I heard from one of our Tehillim Army families. So one of our Tehillim Army families, there's a boy here from the very beginning. Um, their names are the Murskis. And my friend told me that um, there's a woman, a lady, who became quite famous recently. And her name is Mrs. Goldberg, colon. I think that's her name. She's a double name. Um, and she's been speaking a lot because unfortunately, very, very sadly, her son needs a lot of tefillahs. We need to really, 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 really dive in for her son. And um, she, people ask her all the time, how are you so strong? Like, how are you so amazing? And how do you believe in Hashem so much? And she said, you know why? Because I dive in, I dive in every single day. I dive in and I'm connected to Hashem. And the, um, so this lady who was telling me said that some, one, someone in her family was somewhere in Israel where she was speaking and they asked her like, where did you learn how to dive in? And she said, my third grade Mora, and this is a lady who's not a young lady anymore. She said, my third grade Mora taught me about davening. And I see some third graders going like this, right? Like the incredible friends family, right? So she said, my third grade Mora taught me how to dive and she taught me how to say to Hillem. She taught me to Fila. And guess what? And then my friend who was telling me the story said her third grade Mora was our incredible kid, David Mursky's great grandmother. So it's my friend's grandmother. She was the Mora from Chicago, who was the third grade Mora who taught this woman the power of davening. So if you're in third grade or if you're in first grade or if you're in fifth grade, or if you're in eighth grade, or if you're not in any grade like me, we need to tap into the power of davening as young as we can so that whatever comes our way in our entire life, we're going to face it and we're going to face it well. So um, I thought that was so special. So thank you for sharing that story with me because it meant a lot. And all of us here at the Tehillim Army, we're going to be connected to Tehillim for life. So I just want to thank, I want to thank um, our sponsor for tonight. Our sponsor for tonight is the very, oh, our very own Glasser family. It's their mother's birthday tonight. And she said she wants a sponsor because it's her Hebrew birthday, because she wants it to be a schos for her best friend who needs a refuah shalima, Yehudis Leia Bas Cyril. Um, and she also said that all of you incredible kids are keeping the world standing and you're bringing Mashiach closer. And especially my two favorite incredible kids, Aaron Dovi and Kayla Shalva. So thank you for sponsoring for tonight. And um, I am going to, I'm going to introduce Andrew. You're going to tell us exactly what to call you because I know that you're sometimes Andrew, sometimes and I drew, right? And sometimes the Torah comics guy. So welcome to the yeah. Tehillim Army. So happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here, truly. Uh, and yes, you got it right. My name is Andrew or And I Drew. A lot of options. Uh, or creator of Torah comics. Uh, but enough about my name. You guys already got that much. I want to show you 
some of my drawings from when I was your age. You guys want to see drawings from when I was your age? Yeah, I see some thumbs up. So I'll share my screen if I can. Yep, there we go. Here we go. Okay. So here are some of my drawings from when I was 12 years old. And oh, it's loading. There we go. And you can see that what was I drawing? I was drawing the Torah. So when I was 12 years old, I was in class. I was in Hollywood, Florida, where I'm from. I was at Browser Maimonides Academy. And I was bored in class, so I started to draw Torah comics. These are my, my exact drawings when I was 12 years old. And then at my bar mitzvah, yes, this is me at my bar mitzvah, 13 years old, I had a gallery of all of my comics in my shul at Young Israel. And it was so cool for me that everyone from my shul would come in and they would see my comics and they would also learn Torah from them. I was teaching people Torah. And I was so excited. I said, you know what? I have to publish a book. I have to share my comics with the world. I have to share more Torah. And so after a lot of time and practice, I took my drawings from when I was when I was 12, and then I redid all of them after I learned from a cartoonist. I met someone like me now, a cartoonist who showed me how to make comics like this. Whoa, now that's a big difference. I just from learning from teachers, learning from this cartoonist, I was able to bring it to such a high level. And I said, perfect, I can now publish a book. But then when I finished all of the partios, when I finished the whole Torah, I realized, that I improved in my art abilities over that year. And I said, I can't publish a book if some comics are better than other comics. So I redid all of them for not one year, not two years, but three years until finally I said, okay, now I'm ready to publish a book. And when I wanted to publish a book, what I did was I sent an email to a publisher, oh, dear Mr. Publisher, my name is Andrew and I drew, right? You remember my name, Torah Comics. And I really, 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 really want to publish a Torah comic book. And what do you guys think they said? I'll look at your reaction. What do you guys think the publisher said? What do you think? Let's see. I see a lot of people saying yes, thumbs up, thumbs up. What do you think? The publisher actually said no. And I was crushed. I said no. They said no. How could that be? But I tried again and again and again. I kept holding on to my emuna that I was going to get it published. I kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. And guess what happened, guys? They published the Torah comic book. Yes, Geffen Publishers published the Torah comic book. It's a real dream come true. Seeing it in real life is amazing for me to see because this is something I started when I was really, really 12 years old from 12 years old all the way until about a year and a half ago. And what you can see is the comics inside look just like the comics when I made when I was 12, right? It's the same style, two comic strips for every single Parsha, all the way from Bracious, this is Haver Bracious, all the way until the Midbar, Dvarm, all the way through Vizos Habracha. And what's so cool for me is this is really something I started when I was just, you know, about your age, just drawing on my own with pencils, and thank God, Baruch Hashem, I was able to create this book. And what we're going to do together is we are going to draw together. So I want everyone to take out a paper and pencil, just regular white paper, a pencil, any kind of pencil. And together, we are going to draw something very special. And while people get their paper and pencils, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to go ahead and grab it. While people are getting it, I'm going to share with you guys a surprise. I'm going to be making an art contest for everyone who wants to enter. So if you want to enter, you want to take a lot of time to perfect or add a lot of detail to your drawing, even after we finish the Zoom to make it beautiful. And I'm going to give a, away a really, really, really big prize, a huge prize. But before I do any of that, I have to do one very important thing, and that is to shout out, which I heard is a big thing to do on this uh, Zoom. I have to shout out to the Katz twins in Philly. Their dad is awesome. I was just with them on a trip two weeks ago. Beautiful trip, he's amazing, and they are amazing too. So a quick shout out. Okay, I wanna see everyone put their thumbs up or give me a thumbs up if you're ready to start to draw. Let's see, let me see the screen. Okay, I see some thumbs up. Let's see, come on, everyone, thumbs up. I see some thumbs down So, Come on guys, we gotta get going, we gotta start drawing. There are 40 pages of people on this Zoom. 
Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. I just saw something crazy. I just saw something crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is unbelievable. I can You have the Torah comic book? Wow. I am amazed. Okay, how did you get the Torah comic book? I'm going to ask you to unmute. Sorry for the distraction, guys. Go ahead. Uh, my lady got it from Israel. Wow. Wow. And where are you guys from? Flatbush. Flatbush. Okay. Well, thank you so much for holding it up. So, guys, that is crazy to me. Thank you so much for holding it up. This is something I started when I was just 12 years old. And now, random people, random families from around the world, over 3,000 families now learn Torah from my comic book, which is crazy to me. But anyway, I, I have just, we got to start drawing. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep looking through everyone's. Uh, drawings. Okay, so before we start, we need everyone to have a paper and pencil, and I want you to put your hands in the air, and I want you to shake your wrists. Okay, if I visit your school before, I've been to a few schools, we always do this little stretch. Okay, now I want you to freeze. Freeze. I need everyone to freeze. I need everyone to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers, just like this. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, now I need you to draw circles in the air, just to stretch out our hand and get ready to draw circles in the air. Now change directions. Now draw really, really, really tiny ones. Tiny, super tiny, even smaller. Okay, I think we're ready to draw. The only thing I need to do is find where my drawing screen is in this sea of faces, but I'll find it pretty soon. So I think it's nice if we draw something for Israel, right? Because we're the Tehillim army. There you, you go, Andrew, is this God? Oh, do you spotlight it? Oh. Perfect. Okay. I was just scrolling through looking for it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So here I have my little Tehillim army drawing, and this is what we're going to draw together. And we're going to keep it very simple. We're going to draw basic steps and you can follow along step by step. Okay. Just to keep it as simple as possible. I'll go step by step. We're going to start with this circle over here. So you want to make that circle, however big that you want your person's face to be. So I'm going to start on a brand new piece of paper, a brand new piece of paper. And remember that your drawing can be entered into the comic contest or the drawing contest I'm running. So you want to make sure that you put a lot of effort into it. Okay, so we're going to start. I have this big piece of paper right here. You could hold it sideways, vertical. You can fold it into a card if you want, whatever you want. But I'll have it right here. And I'm going to start with a nice big circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw over the circle a few times. So you saw, you know, life isn't perfect and circles are hard to make perfect. So what I do, a little trick, is I go over the circle round and around and around and around until I'm happy with it. Okay, so if you want, I could do that too. Just go around and around and around and around until you're happy with your circle. And now we need to turn our circle into a soldier's face. I don't know, Maura, is, is the chat on? Can they send me suggestions of what we can add to our circle? Uh, the chat is off, but we can turn it on for this. But as soon as it gets silly, we'll just turn it back off. Okay. So guys, I want you to send me ideas of what we can add to our circle to turn this into a soldier's face. Let's see. Eyes, hat, hat, eyes, eyes, a hat, a unicorn. Well, not really a unicorn. Nose, mouth, smile, mouth, eyes, hair. Well, wow, okay, freckles, a lot of things, lots of things. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with not a hat, but a helmet. Oh, I see people are saying helmet now, keep a mustache, a lot of ideas. So I'm gonna add in a nice big helmet. Now this helmet's gonna be so protective that it's gonna cover like half of our circle, okay? Like half. So I'm gonna draw from right over here right at the side, I'm gonna draw a curve going up, like the halfway point. Okay, and now that we can see that this top part, I'm going to darken it a little bit, is our helmet. And then this bottom part is going to be our face. So now, like a lot of people suggested, we can add in some eyes, right? We need eyes for our soldier. I'm going to keep very simple eyes. I'm just going to do two dots or two little ovals. Just like I have on the Torah comic book. Two little dots. If you want, though, you can add in way more detail. You could add in really cartoony eyes, 
crazy eyes, like um, de crazy detail eyes, not crazy eyes. And there's one important thing to add in with our eyes. Who knows what we have to add into our eyes to show emotion, to show how they're feeling? Not freckles, not eyelashes, eyebrows, right? Eyebrows right here, it shows how you're feeling, right? Like that, shows how you're feeling. So I'm gonna add in some eyebrows right on top of my eyes. And they're gonna be pretty high up because he is a happy soldier. And I see people saying glasses, a lot of different ideas we can do. But next I'm gonna move on to the smile, our soldier's smile. For the smile, I'm going to start with a really, really boring smile. Okay, really boring smile, just like this. Just a regular boring smile. Just like a little emoji, very boring. You say, Andrew, our soldier barely looks happy. Why are we doing such a, such a small smile? Looks like he's smirking, like someone told him a, a dad joke. Well, that's just the first step. The next step is to add in a bigger curve under. I'm gonna make my smile now look like this, like this. So I'm gonna add in a bigger curve for the bottom of my smile. So you see, I added a bigger curve under the my smile. So now I have a big, open, happy smile. Wow, look what you did there. That's so cool. Yeah, it's a little trick. And we can now move on to some parts for the body. Before we do the body, there is a little bit of something we need to add in, right? Because the helmet, it doesn't just stand on top of the head, right? We need, to, we need to hold it. We need to have some protection. So I'm gonna add a little bit of like a strap going around our person's chin. So I added a little, little box over there for like where it clips, right? If you put on like a bike helmet, you have a little clip for it to clip on. Then this will be the lines of our little helmet. And like I did on the other drawing, you can add in some hair. You could add in girl's hair or guy's hair. So like this, I just added in some guy's hair, just some little, little curves on the side. And for our last detail for the head, it's just going to be some little X's on the helmet to show that it's, you know, it's a used helmet, has some little scratches or has some little protection, there's some lines and go across those lines too. Okay. And now we're ready for the body. Now I need everyone to know that the body is a little bit hard. Okay, so I want everyone, even if you're not to our step, just put your pencil down and watch how I draw the body, okay? So I want everyone to be looking up. For our body, we're going to have two curves, right? We have a curve right here, this curve. And then a curve right here for the other curve, like this. Okay, so I'm going to draw those two curves, almost like a triangle, but a curve. Watch. There's one. I'm going over it a few times to darken it in. One and two. Nice little curve. And that's for the outside of our person's arm. And now we're going to draw the inside of the arm. The inside of the arm, we look, is gonna be the same curve, but it's gonna be a little bit further inside, right? Because that's the inside part of the arm. If you wanna make it more cartoony, you can make it more curved like I did. If you wanna make it more real, you can make it more like a triangle, right? So I'm just gonna add in now, little curve on the inside of the arm too. Like that. And he's going to be holding, for me at least, a big Israeli flag because we, right, we're all about Israel. We're the Tehillim Army for Israel. So I'm going to have his hands holding together. You can try it out with your pencil. Try to hold your pencil with two hands, right? If you hold your pencil with two hands, like you're waving around a flag, then your hands look like a big ball, right? They're all together. So I'm going to add now kind of just a big oval and another oval behind it, almost like a really big eight like the letter eight coming together. And the last steps are just to connect that to our arms like that. 
So now we have like a person almost like holding something at, at his chest, right? But we don't really have a chest yet. So I'm just gonna add in now to finish off our body, to show where our body is, just two curves like that to show where the chest is. And then coming down where the chest continues into the waist. And we're not gonna do the, the, the rest of the body because I don't have any room and we don't have enough time, sadly. If you wanna learn how to draw the full thing, you can get the full thing on my website. I think, I think I posted it. I'm pretty sure I did. It's called the Israel Drawing Class. I think it's on my website and it's free. And next I'm going to add in the flagpole, right? We need to have a nice tall flagpole. So from here, we have a flagpole going up and to the right. And maybe we'll go past it just a little bit. So I have a nice big line, nice big angled line going up and to the right. And now for the flag, we have to just make it falling from the flagpole. That makes sense. So I'm going to now add in either a big rectangle, if you wanna just have it go straight out, maybe a big rectangle right here, or I'll add like a little bit of a wave. A little bit of a wave. And if the top of our flag is waving, that means that the bottom of our flag would also be waving, right? Because it's all, one flag. So I just did this little secret. I picked up this line in my brain. I went whoop, and then I copied it and pasted it right here, whoop, right down. So I have the same curve in both places. And now I can just connect them. And right now I have a totally empty flag. There's nothing on it. Let's think, what does the Israeli flag have? It has some, oh, it has stripes, right? It has stripes, but wait a second. It wouldn't look like stripes, straight stripes, because our flag is waving. So instead, I'm going to actually add in the same curve we made before, this big curve for my stripes. I'm just going to pick it up in my brain again whoop, and put it right here. Whoop. So I'm copying and pasting the curve there and here. Now I have my two stripes for my Israeli flag. Let's think, what else do we have? Hmm. Does anyone, can anyone make it with their hands what we're missing? Can anyone make with their hands what we're missing? Let's see, can we try to, what are we missing? We're missing, what shape? What shape do we need to add in now? I see some people making, yeah, a triangle. Not one triangle, but two triangles. It's hard to make with, with one hand. If you have two people, you can make two triangles. I'm gonna put that right in the center of our flag. One triangle, and I'm gonna do the second triangle right under it. And you can see it's also angled just a little bit, just a little bit. And now we're up to the fun part. Now we have our drawing, right? We have the basics, as I call it. Now we can add in details. So I want you guys to think, what details can we add? What? How can we show that this is a soldier? How can we show how he's feeling? Maybe we want to add in a nose. Maybe we want to add in some freckles. Maybe you want to add in, oh, maybe an another Israeli flag on their shoulder. Maybe a collar, right? Their uniforms have a little collar. They got a little triangle over here. Maybe they have buttons, right, on their uniform, some buttons. And they actually need to carry a ton of stuff. My friends are in the army. I've drawn them before. And when I was drawing them, it was just like I was drawing endless pockets everywhere on their uniform because they carry so much stuff. They need to have everything on them. So now I'll add in a bunch of little pockets. I'm making some little rectangles over here, a rectangle over here, maybe another rectangle over here. Maybe they have something else on their shoulder. So many ideas of what we can add in. So, so many options. And I want you guys to be creative. Remember, this is an art contest also. So I want you to add in your own ideas of what should go on your drawing. So maybe some freckles, maybe a background, maybe you have the coattail, maybe you have some clouds. The options are endless. But there's one really important thing that you have to have when you're drawing, and that is your name. It's really important you have your name when you're drawing because that way that you know you made it and everyone else knows that you made it also. So I'm gonna add my name that's very small in the bottom right here. 
And I have a little signature that I do, right? Start with a big A and I drew because that is my nickname and my business. And while you guys add in some more details, I have one more shout out to the Benedict kids also in Philly. I was just with the, their dad last night. He is the best also. And now I have the surprise for you. I have a few surprises, so get ready. First surprise is that I just published a new book called The Breishi Mido and Comic Workbook. And this is where you guys can draw your own Torah comics for every single Parsha in Sefer Breishis and learn Torah at the the same time, right? By every learning chesed, all of these different things. And here's the surprise. This comes with a cartooning workshop where I show you exactly how to draw every single thing for every single Parsha in the entire Sefer Bracious and Sefer Shmos. And that is going to be given away in the raffle. So if you win the raffle, you will win that workshop for free. And even if you don't win the raffle, you can get it at a discount by using the coupon, I'll write it right over here. Incredible. But you already know that because you're all incredible. That's the way you can get it. And now I have one more prize for the winner of the contest. Your parents can take a picture. You have to have your parents. Your parents can take a picture of your finished drawing because I really want to see it. Once you have your finished drawing, you can post it to the website, which we'll send out and the winner will get $100. I'm not even joking, $100. And that is open to everyone who wants to enter. Whoa, that is so cool, $100. Um, yeah. Andrew, can we see some of these people's pictures over here? Can I was just about them? to ask you, you're better at this than me than I'm gonna, people. I'll find some, I'll find some videos. to show you. Um, Amazing. let's do over here. Let's look at the incredible strums for a second. Nice. Wow. Look at that. That is incredible. Wow. Such good direction it. following, even from a distance. Look at this. The oh, that's kids. beautiful. Do you have Hello. one too? And we have the Sokolov kids. Oh, oh I think, is, is that I supposed to be the Kosa? Is that the Kosa? Yeah, I could tell. That's amazing. And maybe later you'll background. add details to it even. Exactly. You have time. I can add some, some bushes on the wall, some little notes maybe. That is Let's amazing. The the scenes. Amazing. You have so much room that you can also add in more people. Or you could add some text, some words. You could write thank you somewhere. Ariel. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, you added a speech bubble. That is an amazing thank idea. You, Helen. Thank you. Speech bubble. That is so cool. Very nice. Somebody had a great idea. They said we should add Shai Graucher to the pictures. Yeah. He's the, yes. he's the guy who does tons of chesed with the soldiers. Oh my gosh, look. Um, you oh saw my the gosh. How did, how did you draw everyone that quickly? That was amazing. You drew like 10 people at the time it took us to draw one. Beautiful. Yeah, that's, a lot faster than, that's a lot faster than I did it. That's for sure. <laughs> Let's look at the yeah, Mandel. We'll do like we'll do like two or three more. Here's the oh, hi, sweetie. We can see you. Yeah, it's you. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm on. You. This is so cool. I haven't done this for so many people since Tisha B'Av, so this is really exciting. Yeah, we actually were on your program on Tisha B'Av. We learned how to draw the base mikdash with you. Yeah. Oh, hi guys. That is so cool. And you guys did it with pen. Pen and makes it a little bit harder because you can't erase. So that's really impressive. Okay, let's do yeah. one more. Let's do the incredible Pomper mm. family. Wow, the Pomper family. You guys know what you're doing. Beautiful. Okay. So, and as you and, saw, this yeah. is anyone can do it. And what you can do next, I'll hold it up. You guys can add in so many colors. This is one of my coloring sets. You guys can add in color and make it beautiful. Oh, we have more series kids. And more series also drew. Beautiful. That's so exciting. And you guys can mine all enter the mine. Mine. I want to see everyone's drawing. So you guys can all post it on the, the website for the contest. And that way we can all vote. And whoever gets the most votes, I can't decide, right? Maura, it's impossible to decide who, who wins. That's why we're doing a vote 
So you guys can all vote and decide who should win. Oh, that sounds really sophisticated. Wow. Okay. So yeah. I'll, how about I'll post a link to your contest on the Incredible Kid homepage for the next few days. So like just till the end of the week, I'll keep it on the Tehillim Army homepage. Oh, my kids are all coming from all over the house. They're on different devices. This is Leora. Oh, this okay, is amazing. Job, Lily. This is the perfect snow day activity for us. Yeah. And on the website, I have more comics about Israel and workshops. Most, a lot Beautiful. of them are free. Everyone can try it. And for the ones that aren't free, you guys do use the coupon incredible and get a discount. And some people asked me before about the book. You can order the book from my website and I'll sign it for you. And you can also use the coupon to get a discount on that too. Awesome. So, oh, wow. Thank you so much. That was such a treat for us. My office is being invaded. Um, <laughs> so Andrew and I drew Mr. Torah Comics. Thank you so much. And hang out there because, you know, maybe you'll, you want, maybe you'll have a little activity to do in the next few minutes and I'll bring you back on at the maybe. end. So maybe. hint, hint, be. maybe. Okay. I don't, don't go anywhere, kids. There's some good stuff coming. Okay, yeah, thank you anywhere. so much, everyone. Big round of applause. Let me see a big round of applause from our incredible kids. That's right. Thank you. I see the Ro the Rokach kids clapping. One sister is still adding details to her picture. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Hi. Okay, thank you, Andrew, and we'll see you soon. Um, okay, everyone take out your Tehillims. Um, just so put the drawing to the side. And, and please continue it whenever it's a good time. Maybe, you know, maybe you're allowed to do it afterwards. Maybe you'll do it tomorrow. Um, but like, I'm going to, I'm going to put my drawing to the side now because now it's going to be time for Tehillim and, um, and we're going to take out our Tehillim. So let's say hello to the people taking out our Tehillim today. Like the incredible wise kids. Thank you for being here. Hi boys. And let's say hello to the incredible Horowitzes. Hi, incredible Horowitzes. Thank you for being with us for Tehillim. And let's say hello to the incredible Hirsch kids. You're like one giant Tehillim. Oh, there's the people behind it. Hello, hello. Okay, so um, let's get the incredible Chop kids on. Okay, we're going to be seeing Parak Pei Gimel. Can you introduce yourself and tell everybody your name? I'm Chaim Yehuda. Chaim Yehuda. This is my sister, Ricky, and that's Moshe. Hello, Chaim Yehuda and Ricky and Moshe. Where are you from? Barakaway. Barakaway. Beautiful. Okay, so we're all here to say to Helen with you. We're going to be saying Pei Gimel. It's a long parak, but you got this, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. We're going to be saying parak Pei Gimel. And like we've said many times before, parak Pei Gimel goes through all of the different nations who want to destroy the Jewish people. And the Jewish people always win because Hashem has a plan for us and Hashem could do anything. So we beg Hashem, just like you did it that time and that time and that time and that time and that time. We go through all different times in our history. Hashem, you're going to do it again. You're going to get rid of the guy. And at the end of the day, the whole world is going to know that Hashem is in charge of the world. So you're going to say Parak Pei Gimel one line at a time. And me and then your siblings will copy you and everybody at home. Okay? okay. You're on. Shir Mizmar Le'asaf. Shir Mizmar Le'asaf. Alayhem Adam Iloch A Teherash Ra'af Tishkait El. Elohim Al Dami Lach Al Teherash Ve Al Tishko El. Dihinai Ayelacha. Yehemayun um san echa nasun rush. He he ne ayvecha yehemayun um san echa nasu rush. Alamacha yarimu side yis ya atsu atifunecha. Al amacha ya arimu stowed vyas ya atsu al tsefunecha. Amulachu. 
ונחידם. מגאי ולא יזכר שם ישראל עד. אמרו לכו ונחידם מגאי ולא יזכר שם ישראל עוד. כי נייצו לב יכתב המלאכה רס יחרשו. כי נועצו לב יחדיו עליך ברס יחרוסו. אהלי אדם ישמעאל מאי והגרים. אהלי אדום וישמעאלם מואב והגרים. גבל ואמן ואמליק פלשס עם יושבי צר. גבל ואמון ואמליק פלשס עם יושבי צר. אימם היו זרעי לבני לויט סלע. גם אשור נלווה אימם היו זרועה לבני לויט סלע. עשה להם כמדיון כסיסרא כיוון בנחל קישיין. עשה להם כמדיין, כסיסרא, חייבן, מנחה קישון. We just said to Hashem, עשה להם כמדיין. Hashem, do it like you did to Midian. Do it like you did to Sisera. Do it like you did to this one and that one. We're saying, Hashem, you did it then, you're going to do it again. That's exactly what you just said. Continue. Yod Aleh. Nishmedu ve'ein dor hayu daimen la'adama. Nishmedu ve'ein dor hayu domen la'adama. She say my... שישימו נדיבימו כאורי וכזאיב וכזבח וכתלמונה כל נסיכימו. אשר אמרו נרשע לנו אייס נאייס אלוהים. אשר אמרו נרשע לנו אייס נאוס אלוהים. אבל אשי סיימי גל גל כקש לפני רוח. אלוהי שישימו חגל גל כקש לפני רוח. כאש תבער יער וכלהבה תלהי הרם. כאש תבער יער וכלהבה תלהי הרם. כן תרדפים בשעריך וסופסך סבהלים. כן תרדפים בשעריך ובסופסך סבהלים. מלא פניהם קלון ויבקשו שמך אדוני. מלא פניהם קלון ויבקשו שמך אדוני. יבשו ויבהלו עדי עד ויחקרו ויבדו. יבושו ויבהלו עדי עד ויחקרו ויבדו. ויעדו כי אתה שמך דינו לבדך עליין על כל הארץ. וידעו כי אתה שמך אדוני לבדך עליון על כל הארץ. Beautiful. Thank you so much for leading the Tehillim so beautifully. I'm going to say the Misha Beirach. You want to hang on the line with us while we say Misha Beirach? I have a shout out after. Okay, great. Good to know. Okay, one second. And all this, guys. Did you drop that little paper with the Misha Beirach on it? Yeah. <laughs> This is what happens when we have a little, little invasion over here. You don't know where you put it? I know my invasion. You know it by heart? You want to say it? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to pull it up on my phone because I don't know what to do with it. If you really know it, you could say it. No. Mommy. Mommy. Let's see. Do you want to speak Shoma? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, by the way, while we wait, if there's anyone who lives in the Baltimore area who's good with kids, Moritziri needs a babysitter. <laughs> so anybody, do you guys, do you guys know anyone in Baltimore that's like a good babysitter? Because like mitzvah gadola. <laughs> 
Yeah, shout out to Sarala who came to our house the other day. She it was such a good night at the Tehillim Army because she was amazing with Shlomo. Amazing. Shout out to Sarala Feldheim. Um, okay, so let's say that Misha Beirach, because Shlomo, I don't know what he did with it. Hopefully he didn't do anything. Misha Beirach Abosinu, Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov. Thank you. Now you could say your shout out quickly before we got to the thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. Both of my babies, they should have complete visual shalema. Oh, that's an important one. I mean, the Langs family, the Sharps, Roses. Oh, wow. Roses. A lot of shout outs. All right. Shout out to all your friends. The Predators, the predators. The predators told us um to come on. Oh, the Predators. Okay. Amazing. Eisenbergers. Wow, this is getting, this is a shout out central family. <laughs> I don't know if you know our rule about two shout outs. Oh, also, oh, also man, no, 200? Is this two or 200? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You did such a beautiful job leading to him and your sister, you as well. Both of you together sitting here is a real kid Hashem. Thank you so much. And you, and you with your beautiful crown. Okay, um, I'm going to share the screen in just a minute um let me first ask a andrew hello you there i'm here you ready yet or you need more time i'm ready i've been ready for like 10 minutes oh yeah okay <laughs> i just can't find you anywhere i don't know why your video is not on I was on the other one. Can you spotlight? Oh, maybe it's because it's on your other account. Oh, there it's you both. are. Yeah, guys, while, while we were saying oh, Taylor, there. I couldn't help myself but to curate a little drawing of everything going on just because I was so inspired. But you see, I didn't even finish it. I didn't even get to sign my name yet. Oh, that was a really close one. I don't sign my name. But what I want to share with you guys is that was the most inspiring thing I have seen. Seeing so many people from Kalei coming together to say Tehillim is so inspiring. So I wrote over here, the Tehillim army. We're praying for you, Israel. We love Israel. And we are incredible, which I hope I spelled right because I wrote it very quickly. <laughs> and I also got a text, a WhatsApp while I was here. And I didn't even know this. But I have some friends on from Panama who showed me that they actually were holding up the Spanish Torah comic book. So I want to want to say that this is amazing to see people not only from America, not only from Baltimore and Philly, but people from oh the Pan the your friends in Panama are with us live right now. Yeah, they're on Zoom. Wow, they how are you over there, Panama? They were trying to hold it up so I could spot them. Why over there? I couldn't find them. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, we're so happy that they're with us. Okay, yeah, well, see, that is so cool, Andrew. Could you take a good picture of that so we could have that for our Tehillim army? Of course. It's so cool. Love it. Look at that. You are so, you're just sitting there busily sketching it while we're here. Okay, we are going to, thank you, Andrew. We are going to do our, um, no, he's going to say the winners after there's a contest. I'm going to announce it again at the end. Um, I'm going to share the screen and we are going to see who's going to win the prize in a second. We have four prizes. Our first prize is our Living Living Amuna book over here. Living Amuna, number three um, by Art Scroll. We have our mystery prize from the Farhi family. We have a holy doubles game from the creator of the game himself, Yona Glenn. And it's really cool. I actually want to show you. I played the game with my with my girls and they like Leora. Leora Price, this girl over here, she creamed me. She's so good at it. She like knows all these rabbis now. Look at this. Look at the cards. It's like instead of saying like, you know, like when you play spot it. What, what's the pictures in spot it? What's the regular picture? It's like a, a like four a, leaf clover. Four leaf clover. Right. A and it's man, like a, yeah, a ghost, like random. A car. 
Instead, we're saying Lahavdia, Rabbi Yisrael Belsky, mine. And then we say like, Rav Gershon Edelstein. And we're really learning the Gedolim. It's really cool. The Baba Sali, right? We like the Baba Sali. He's cool. Cover. Our father went to his cover. Once we start this conversation, we'll be here for a very long time. Yeah. But we, we'll yeah. Either way, this five-year-old over here crushed me, crushed my husband. She knew the rabbis better than both of us. So really cool game. Okay. Back to business. And the last prize tonight is... Hey, girls. The last prize, the last prize tonight is, um, is, is the prize that we talked about a few times. With the whole Safer Shamos with um with Andrew's online. And it's called his website is called um I don't want to say it wrong, torahcomics.com. Torahcomics.com, the whole Safer Shamos. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen so you can see the raffle. Leora. No. Okay, first prize. Let's go. All of you drum rollers. Let's see. Let's see all our drum rollers. I already know these guys. These are my regulars, like the Busanis. On Yisrael Liner at gmail.com. Way to go, Liner family. You guys won the book. Okay, next one is for the mystery prize. By the Barbie family. Bowie, Bowie. And the winner is Daskals. Oh, look at that. The Daskals at gmail.com. Next one is for the game. The Gadolim game called Holy Doubles is now. Well, that's funny. Incredible Mill Rods, Rifka Oberstein at gmail.com. Okay, you guys won the game. And the next prize is for this, the grand prize of the night, which is access to the whole Safer Shamos cartoon lessons on the Torah Comics website. And the winner is. The Canarics, Miriam Canaric at gmail.com. And now for all of my Baltimore friends or people who might not even be from Baltimore. And like some people I noticed, I actually looked through um, the list of people who entered the NCSY concert raffle. This is the wrong one. Oops. Um, uh, some people, by the way, are not even from Baltimore and they um, entered the raffle That's because... Right. Maybe, hold on. They said if they win, they'll come visit Baltimore. Cause like Baltimore is so cool. So like and also, well yeah, they're gonna sleep in your room. Um people that can meet you. Right, like that type. So if you come, I'm just I'm I'm stalling for time here because the the thing got the thing got um I don't know what happened. I you know I'm sorry. Something's going on here. It's freezing on us. Ah, let's see, cunt. Concert wheel, and we're gonna just reconnect it. No, no, no. Usually it works. Something it froze, so I'm just restarting it. Sometimes when the computer has too much going on, it freezes up. Okay, everyone's very patient though. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, la, let's go. Yeah, they all hear me. <laughs> okay, um, we're sharing the screen, and we're gonna go back to the concert and. Let's see who's going to win five tickets to the NCSY concert with Benny and Simcha. Let's go. And Yaakov Rosenblum. Right, and Yaakov Rosenblum. He was on Taylor Marmia Hanukkah. He's opening up for them. It's good you've noticed that. It's really small. And the winner is the Kelvman. Support Kelvman at gmail.com. So happy. Yes, I do know them. What? Yeah, it's Aliza's family. Um, everyone? You did awesome. Thank you so much for being part of our program. Always, every night, I look forward to seeing your beautiful faces. Thank you to Andrew. Thank you to everybody who was with us, to the chops. And everybody, have a... Mm -hmm. no, have... You, what? You have to do Andrew's. No, you, you don't understand. To, no. Exactly oh, Ahuva wants everyone to know that and I drew's contest. Right, we're going to post the link on the website so everyone could do... Who wins it? I didn't pick a winner? I didn't pick a winner. Maybe I'm losing it. <laughs> no, we did a winner, the Canaric family. Remember? No. Okay, who's who's? Um, every <laughs> everybody have a good night, and remember, you are all incredible kids. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.